update your dice. skating about four, maybe five years ago. Well, I was originally like a BMXer and I kind of just like being around the skate park all the time, I like wanted to try new things out, it kind of just drew me towards skateboarding. Every park like has their own um, skating family, I'd say. I mean, like you come here, everyone is just like 20 just like really tight boys like I mean you go to Flax which is the thing we do in Shrewsbury that's you know the same boys turn up every single night and just dedicated towards it. I'm 20, I uh, live in Shrewsbury but grew up in North Wales. Uh, I run an independent skate store in Shrewsbury called Morale. How'd you get into skating? Uh, I'm assuming it was kind of when like Viva La Bam and like Jackass was on and like Tony Hawk games. Like, that was probably what I first saw. Even in like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and like all that sort of, I saw boards in that and I was like, yeah man, I want, I want some of that. <laughs> Uh, I'd say it's like ageless, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter your age, like whether you're wealthy or poor, or like any. It's more just if you're a sound person, you'll tend to get on with with everyone. And it doesn't really matter what level you're at either. Like that's a common misconception. So say like at the ramp sessions, so many people who've just started say, "Oh, I'm not very good," or and it's like they'll quickly realise that everyone will be on the mini ramp, like getting stoked when they're trying to drop in. Yeah, I mean, I think it, the, the culture itself kind of spawned from, well, from surfing and, and from kind of counterculture. Like, it was heavily involved with, like, kind of punk music. And when you look at the old images, it's all kind of like leather jackets and, like, yeah, it's kind of pretty on, on the edge. Um, so it kind of comes from that. And then when you look at skaters generally, they're not ones who would really took too much part in, like, team sports. It's more of, like, an inherently creative uh, thing to do as an individual. Um, but the association to, to drugs and stuff is, yeah, I think it's quite a, quite a laid back kind of lifestyle or, or it's just, it's quite open. Whereas people who'd be surprised to partake in those sorts of things, trying to hide it behind closed doors in most normal senses. Whereas in skate, everyone's kind of, yeah, it's, it's too maybe enhanced. Yeah, but then it's, it's not, it's not as, as often as, as the parents would assume or like to assume or, um, I, I find that often the, the, the people groups in skating who, who hang out together, they, they look out for each other like more so than, than other groups. Um, has skating changed in any way? Like, have you changed since you got skateboarding? Like? Uh, yeah, I feel more, more persistent. Uh, more confident and more fearless. Yeah, it's very self-motivating. So you learn that <laughs> resilience. I mean, yeah, there's a. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I think there's a massive, like, I mean, people are just so misled by the whole skateboarding, like, skate park culture. I mean, everyone just thinks, you know, a bunch of rough kids who are just hanging around at the skate park. But, I mean, if you ever come check it out, I mean, it's just not what you expect. Reason why uh, everyone society sees it like that? 
Uh, well, I think when they first opened up skate parks, like back in the 80s, 70s, 60s, I think they mainly put, like, put them in quite run-down areas just to get the kids off the street and get them into something. And I think that's kind of stuck with people's knowledge who don't, who never got into it. Stop the Well, so in a, in a small sense, in Shrewsbury, because yeah. because the store's been here kind of like nearly three years, um, and just we've had you know we've literally watched kids pick up boards and stick at it. Uh, like any kind of older skater who comes back will say that they've seen more skaters around, which they feel really weird because at one point you know at a time you wouldn't really see they'd feel like the the ones. Um, so here it feels like it's changing and people are more open to it just because it's in front, like people are seeing it. But it's quite an open-minded place. Um, but and with it going into the Olympics, I feel that will open it to a new audience. But then it might not be the same type of person. But it's it's more people on boards, which is only really a good thing. Um, well, I mean, you have quite like you've got a proper skate shop. Obviously. Yeah. Everyone comes in first hand, buys boards and all that kind of stuff. Is it like are you getting more people who's wanting to start up with this thing? Is it more popular? Is it yeah. A bigger range? So I'd say when when we first opened up, or for the first sort of period of time, it was. You know, we, we sort of felt like a, a clothes store that, that did hardware. Like you kind of depended on the clothing and footwear sales, and you still kind of do to a degree, but if I was to say a trend of the last like three or four months, it's that it's new people or people inquiring about hardware or getting their first complete, which is like, you know, that's, that's the best one. But then it's when they go to the, like the local events or the things that happen and, and then they get the bug for it. Uh, that, that's kind of, so I'd say it seems like more people are more interested, but then there's, a college community here that once a friend gets it, another friend will be intrigued. You know, so it kind of scales like that. But, but I'd say, uh, but as far as speaking to other stores and other people in the industry, they've said that this year or the start to the year has been most people saying that hardware sales have gone up. So that means more people buying boards. It's what they take as, um, in society, as you see, there's a sort of nine to five rat race, um, people mentality that Everybody usually does, it's what they teach you at school, wake up, go to work, eat, sleep, work, repeat, that type of thing. Whereas skateboarders, um, all extreme sports, I've found myself. I've tried, I've done like mountain biking, rollerblading, skateboarding, all the different types. Um, and they're, all of them within themselves are a completely different set of people. Um, the sort of, there's like a family within it because you're outcast from normal society then it, all, it usually is the people that take drugs, had bad upbringings, all that type of stuff that are pushed to extreme sports extremities because you're trying to get something else out of life, I suppose. That's what we're all searching for, that's the something there is. Like, and you sort of, once you find it within skateboarding or within extreme sport, you unite that within your people then and you build a fan base, like a whole family from that. So it's crazy how you can walk into a skate park and start talking to people and then like, I did it. I come into this skate park and met two lads and four months later I was living in a house share and we were skating every day. And then lived for like 18 months doing that every day, just partying, skating, travelling around the country. And it really was really like amazing to do it. It's something I wanted to do as a kid, like, and we got to do it, so that was ace. Skating's ace. Thank you.